What's up, Ray All Day people? I'm up in my dojo, my vertical jump dojo. About to answer some questions. So, I got a question from. Uh, let me just tell you what I'm, at, what I'm gonna be talking about, and I'll show you the question. I'm gonna show you uh, a little trick you can do that makes your training, basketball training, work in the game. I don't know what percent. It's a lot more. It makes it work a lot better. I'm gonna show you exactly what to do, how to do it. I'm gonna tell you. Uh, and here's where, where the inspiration for this comes from. Jokubas Vigelis. Jacobos Vigelis. He says, I'm so mad. I work so much. I'm so ripped. And my game isn't getting better. I mean, I work without the ball. I'm just staying in one place and can't move. Any tips? The only thing I'm kind of getting better at is my vertical. But, okay, so here's a dude who says he's working hard. Uh, doesn't seem to be getting anywhere. He's starting to get frustrated because... He's putting in that that time and work, maybe even some of that cash, and it's not seeing results. So, uh, with vertical jump training, everything is always very training specific. So, if you want to jump higher, most of your training looks like jumping. So, uh, if you want to move faster, most of your training is moving faster specifically. Now, let's move that over to basketball. Whether you play on a team or you just go to the rec center and try and get your flow on at the rec center, uh, it's the same kind of thing. So here's how I recommend you would train. Uh, let's say you're a wingman. You know, you're not a point guard, you're a wingman. Every time you train, do something that you would do in the game. For example, practice where would you want the ball? Maybe you want the ball uh, at the perimeter. So where exactly do you want the ball? So when you give yourself the ball to practice, Practice getting open and getting that ball so that you want the ball in that position. So you know that position. So you get the ball in that position. Then once you have in that ball in the position, don't just do something neat in between the legs and shoot a jumper. Do exactly what you would do at the rec center or do what you would do in your high school or college or pro game, whatever it is. Practice specifically that move. So if you're going to do one of Dre's moves or one of the others, no, don't, don't practice 500 moves. Practice a few that you can master so that when you're on the court, you can receive that ball, want to receive that ball confidently, and know that you're going to shoot a high percentage shot doing a high percentage move, if that makes sense. So, uh, and I highly recommend that you track this. So if you're going to go out and, and train for an hour, no, I'm going to train this move, this move, and this move. Here's how I'm going to get the ball on the court. Here's how I'm going to do the move, and here's how I'm going to finish the shot. And then, say you do it 100 times, mark how many times you made that shot in 100 times. And then next time you go in the gym, see if you can do better. That way you have an objective sense of whether or not you're progressing. Because if you're just going in there and shooting and then playing the game and then shooting, you don't have a real good idea if you are getting better. For example, you, Jacuba. I think that's it, Jacuba. Uh, how are you how are you tracking your success how are you measuring whether you're actually getting better or not so your practice you should be able to say yes i am getting better at a b c d because you're tracking it so you know you're getting better in practice uh, and then you should be able to see in the game i'm scoring more points or i'm getting more rebounds in your stats and just a general sense that you're getting better so that's what i recommend when you go in the gym to train you train something specific want the ball Know where you want it and know what you're going to do with it once you get the ball. And train those three things specifically so that when it comes game time, you're ready to roll. Okay, so uh, that's a little tip about basketball and it relates to jump training as well because it's all specificity. Guys, if you haven't got it already, I highly recommend you grab uh, our How to Jump Higher in 45 Minutes. I'm going to show you uh, with pictures and everything exactly what exercises to do that can get you jumping higher in 45 minutes. These are techniques. Uh, these aren't exercises that make you stronger. They're actually techniques for jumping that increase your jumping height um, by doing little things with your tendons and your central nervous system and, and some stretching things. So check it out. Let me know what you think and keep posting your questions here. And work on your game. Thanks for checking out this video. Make sure you follow all my top content up here. 
Follow me on all your favorite social networks right over here and make sure you are subscribed to catch all the new content I put on on this channel every single day. Work on your game.